Hello, hello. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. How are you? Welcome to your TOEFL class. Hello, hello. Hello, welcome, Maribel, to your English class. How are you doing today? How are you doing today, Maribel? How was your day? Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, Maribel. Hi, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Hello, 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 hello. Mic check, mic check. Microphone check, microphone check. Hello, hello. Hi. Oh, okay. Good evening. Can, okay. Now I can hear you. <laughs> uh -huh. can, can you hear me? The, other, the others. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. And you? Yes, I can hear you. How was your day today? Uh, nothing different. So, teacher, don't you know that I, I was, uh, I had a, 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 a como se dice, a surgery. Really? So surgery. Yeah, yeah. So that's because I am in my, on my bed every, every day, every class. Oh my God, what happened? <laughs> in my bump. What happened to you? My bump. Uh, how do you say uh, bump is 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 the, the 
é, matriz. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. uh, so, I had a surgery. Uh -huh. And to ten, ten, the, the hurt, the, la herida, the, I, como se dice, injured. Herida is the, the scar. Wound. 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 Uh -huh. Was 10 centimeters. Uh -huh. So it wasn't uh, by, by la parostopia, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so it's different. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope that you feel better very soon. Hello, Nidia. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm a little tired, but I'm here and hoping Maribel gets well <laughs> soon. I am not tired, so why? Why, Nidia? Yes, I know, but I, I hope you get well soon, that you don't feel pain or any complication. That's right. That's right. Especially right now, uh, during this uh, coronavirus crisis, we can see that there are many pharmacies that don't have any type of medication. Yes. Uh, we know that hospitals are congested. We have a lot of people suffering uh, from this epidemic. Uh, so I think that it's very important that we take care of our health at this moment, because that is the only thing we have is our health, exercise, sleep correctly, take care of your diet. Hello, Julia. Good evening. How are you? Hello. Good evening. How Hi, are you? Thanks. How are you doing today? Well, I have working. Are you working right now? Right now, no, I, I finished some few minutes ago. Oh, okay. And where do you work? I, I was working in the computer. I was drawing a oh. layout in AutoCAD. Oh, okay. Are you an architect? No, I'm an industrial engineer. Oh, so cool. Very good. Are you designing a, what are you designing? A company, a building? Uh, I was moving some machines mm. to create another layout for a new product. Wow. Very interesting. Good job. Thank you, Julia. Hello, Marcelo. How are you? Hello, teacher and everybody. Hello. Hello. Good, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? Fine, a little bit bossy, and with a with a a, a hotter day. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Today was really hot. I don't understand why. Supposedly, yes. right now we are we still have one more month uh, to start the to start the season for the rain, right? Or when do we start the, the rainy season? When does the rainy season start? I guess in May. 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 Tampopos. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. All right, uh, let's get started, guys. Who can tell me what information you remember about the previous class? Who can tell me what information you remember about yesterday's class. What did we discuss? What did we talk about? Did we discuss some questions? Yes, some questions. And about what... your school, your studies. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, and... ask somebody uh, some of the questions, please? Can you ask somebody? Um... Okay. Um, ask Marcelo, ask Maribel, ask, ask Nidia. I have the questions right here. Can everybody see my screen? Uh, can yes. You, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, go ahead, select somebody and ask some of the questions. Um, Marcelo? 
Uh, how old are students they when they graduate? Uh, oh, this is talking about uh, this is talking about uh, how old are students when they graduate? Is it fair to how old are students when they graduate? Oh, this is talking about does your country have middle schools? Yes, they do. What is the age that children begin school? Uh, middle school is what we say, for example, secundaria. Okay. No es, no es elementary, primaria, y no es bachiller, high school. Es la que está en medio. How do you say that in Spanish? I don't know. <laughs> secundaria. Ciclo. Sec ciclo. Secundaria, no. No, tercer, tercer ciclo. ciclo. Tercer, tercer ciclo. ciclo. To six, for, for to six to night. No. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. And then, and then is high seven, school. Seven, nine. Seven, to ah, nine. seven. Uh -huh. seven, seven to nine. Ah, oh, okay. Nine. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so the question is, does your country have middle schools? Uh, does El Salvador have middle schools? Yes. Yes. What yes. is the age that children begin middle school? Around about twelve. Twelve, uh huh? Twelve, uh, eleven, thirteen. <laughs> mm, very interesting. Uh, in the United States, I don't think I don't think we have the same the same system because uh, in the United States, uh, people study, for example, elementary school is first grade all the way to fifth grade. And the ages are probably, I remember I got out of, I got out of elementary school when I was 12. And then we started uh, middle school when I was thir uh, 13. 13 was sixth grade. Okay. Uh huh. So it's a totally different system. Uh, okay, go ahead, Marcelo. Select somebody. Nidia. Mm -hmm. uh... Where did you go to high school? I went to uh, Instituto Morazán. Uh, de Señoritas. It's a uh, only girls school that is near from the old maternity hospital. Ah, okay. It's a traditional um, institution like the, the Instituto de like the Inframen. But it's only for girls. Mm -hmm. And it, it like was that? considered, I don't know right now, but it was considered uh, a good institution, like the Inframen in its time. Mm. Okay. All right, Nidia, select somebody. <sighs> okay, Maribel. What do you remember about your teachers? Who was your favorite teacher? Oh, I remember a good teacher. Uh, the subject that he taught us was uh, moral and civica. I don't know how to say. And I think Ethics. I remember, yeah, I remember Ethics. many phrases Ethics. that he, he taught. Why? Ethics. What? Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Uh -huh. We can hear you. I I learned uh, too much with that teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, the name? What's the name? Dominguez. Yeah. Dominguez. Oh, Mr. Dominguez. Uh huh, Mr. Dominguez. Mm -hmm. For example, he. Uh, the phrases that I don't rem I don't I don't forget is eh, los amigos se cuentan con los dedos de una mano. <laughs> uh -huh. eh, así, así. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Repeat, I believe in that. <laughs> I believe in that. I think friends are very uh, a little bit, un um, poquito, a little bit friends. Yeah. Okay. I don't think there are. I don't. I don't think it's very difficult to find a very good friend. Very difficult. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Maribel. Okay, guys. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to be looking at the next section of this uh, topic. Uh, repeat after me. What did you major in? What did you major in? Does any, the, who does not understand this question? What did you major in? What did you major in? Do you understand the question? Yes. Okay. Does everybody understand the question? What's the meaning? What's the meaning, teacher? Uh, yes. The meaning is, for example, A career. That is correct. Your career. For example, you say, I went to the university. I studied law. I majored in criminal law. Oh, okay. Or you could say, I, I, I studied medicine. Specialized. I majored Special. in pediatrics. Uh -huh. That's right. Okay. That's right. Your specialization. Okay, repeat. What did you major in? What did, what what did, did you, you major in? in? Why did you choose the major you did? Why did, why why did, did you major in the major you did? Did you live in a dormitory while you went to college? Did you live did in, you a live in a dormitory while you went to college? You went to college. Do you understand what is dormitory? Yes, sir. Yes. All right. In the United States, it's a very custom for the students to live in a dormitory. Uh, most of the time, the dormitory is either only for men or only for women. But nowadays, you have mixed dormitories because the students want that. They have boys and girls mixed together. It's normal nowadays but because the students want that. All right, the next one, does your country provide a good public school system? Yes, your does country your country provide, provide a good public school, school system? system? Do you understand the question? Yes. The next question, does your country have good public universities? Does your country Does have your country good country public, have your country university? Good public universities? If not, if, if not, not, if not, why do you think? Why do you think? Why do you think there is a lack? There is there is a lack, is a lack of, of funding for education in your country. Of funding for funding education, for education of, of funding in your for country. country. A lack of the funding. Meaning of lack. Okay, so the phrase the lack. lack of, this is what we call a phrase, lack of means falta de. And funding means fondos. Falta de fondos. fondos. Uh -huh. Thank por, you. ¿Por qué piensas que hay falta de fondos? para universidades públicas en tu país. Mm -hmm. Obvious corrupt politicians. The next question. What realistic changes? What, what realistic changes would you make, would you would make, you make to your country's attitude towards education? To your country's attitude for education. 
towards education. Do you understand the question? Yes. Everybody understands the question? Yes. All right, the next one, repeat. What role do you think? What, what role do you think? think? What role do you think? Human capital plays. Human, human capital, capital plays. In the development of countries. In, in the, the development, development of countries. countries. Right, that's talking about, do you think human capital plays? Referring to the people, the population. Uh, the next, do you understand the question? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, the next one. How many years did you attend college? How many, How many years, years did, you did you attend college? Uh, well, let me, let me clarify something to you guys. Uh, for example, Mr. Santos, I went to Southwest Texas Junior College. South, sorry. Southwest Texas Junior College. This is where I studied in San Antonio, Texas. It's near Hondo, Texas. And it's a college. Who can tell me what is the difference between college and university? Who can tell me the difference? Or who knows the difference between a college and a university? And let me explain to you that college doesn't mean colegio, like in Spanish. Oh. College is something totally different in English. I what think is 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 technician. Is careers about maybe three years only that? That's mm -hmm. right. Very good, Maribel. Somebody else? Somebody else that can share their opinion about a college and a university? Mardo, Marden, Marcelo, Julia, Nidia, Freddy? Yes, it's like Maribel says for us. Mm -hmm. mm, car short careers. Maybe more specialist in practice and try to learn in practice more than a, like a university you study uh, and you will go into practice whether you study after the career. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that's very correct. Uh, that is very correct, Martin. Uh, normally in the United States, uh, rich students. Uh, normally have the opportunity to go to a college. Uh, usually, uh, when the students finish high school, they go directly to the university uh, to study the career, law, medicine, business, economy, psychology, whatever. But the objective of the college is to help the students remember that when people are 18 years old they don't know what they want because they are too young so i remember when i was 18 i finished high school but i really didn't know what i wanted i was 18 i was still lost in the world so the college is a 24 month uh, course where you you study the basic about psychology uh, the basic about economy the basic about sociology the basic about microeconomy the basic about macroeconomy the basic about biology the basic about criminology, the basic about computer science. Basically, you look at the surface of all the careers that exist, only the surface. Do you understand? Yes. 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 Uh-huh. Okay, so then when you're finished the 24 months, 
and you say, well, you know what? I remember when I was taking uh, sociology classes, I like that. Maybe I'm going to go to the university and I'm going to study uh, social work. Or you know what? I remember when I was in, in college, I really enjoyed the computer science class. I think I'm going to study computer engineering. Do you understand? Yes. So basically, yes. The, the college is designed to assist the student to select a career that they are going to like so that they don't make the mistake of starting the career. Oh, I'm going to be a lawyer. And then one year later, they say, oh, man, this is not for me. Or people say, uh, you know what, uh, I'm going to be a doctor. And then one year later, they say, oh, man, this is not for me. Do you understand? Yes. So that's the purpose. Very interesting. Of, that's the purpose of the college. I'm telling you because I went to Southwest Texas Junior College. Teacher, just a question. Um, yes, Freddy, ask me college, a question. In, huh? the college, in the college, you receive um, general um, information, for example, or yes. it's an specific? No, no, no. It's the surface. Es la superficie de todas las carreras. But it's only in one career or No, general? no, no. No, no, no. Uh, you can select uh, four classes. Okay. In my case, I was taking four classes per semester, right? Maybe one semester you can take algebra, uh, computer science, biology, and psychology. And then you study this for three months. And then the next semester, you, you study four more courses. Maybe you study psychology, sociology, microeconomics, macroeconomics. And then the next semester, you study maybe criminology, uh, basics of psychology, basics of medicine, and basics of administration. Right, so every semester you change courses. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, uh, now guys, what we're going to do is we're going to practice the conversations using these questions. I'm going to copy and put these questions on the chat. On the chat. Okay. But in the WhatsApp chat, uh, no, 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 no. I don't have my WhatsApp chat open on my laptop. I have the chat in the Zoom. Do you did you receive it? Yes, I have it. But when we, go, I, I remember yesterday when we going to the, um, not the main rooms, no, it's uh, little the, rooms. Uh huh. So I can see the chat. Okay, give me one. I second. remember yesterday, but but I will I will going to put in the WhatsApp chat. Oh, you're gonna do it right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it right. Oh, okay, because I was about to open my WhatsApp, but if you can do it, that's better. It's in the WhatsApp chat for right now. Okay, did, does everybody have the questions? Yes. Yes. Everybody? Julia? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna put everybody in pairs, and I would like for you guys to practice. Ready? Let's go. I'm gonna have Marcelo and Maribel, Julia and Marden, and Freddie and Nidia. If you have any questions, raise your hand and I will enter your private chat. Let's go. Um, I don't have a mayor. And what about you? Uh, <clears throat> well, I 
I studied industrial engineer um, and why I choose this career is uh, because first I I wanted to study administration but my cousin started to study industrial engineer and I saw uh, the activities that uh, he did it and I like more industrial engineering that uh, administration and administration but um, I want to understand something maybe I wrong the major I remember is something special something what uh, is something special or something more than your university career I remember I don't know if am um, I right or not because I like don't a master. Even, aha, like a master and okay for example I, I for example I have a and I, I am an accountant hmm? so uh -huh. but my major I guess we're gonna be uh, um, an, an accountant but it, with a specific um, specialty in taxes for example okay but I, I, I that's why I remember about the mayor in yeah, I didn't understand that thing. Be wrong. And then if is that, I don't have my <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because that only my career. <laughs> uh -huh, only my career too, because that says before, no after. Say after. Why did you chose the mayor you did? So uh, it's because you start to study something, you finish your car university career, and if, and after you decide to study someone else. Okay, uh, but I didn't yeah. study anymore because I don't have time. <laughs> yeah, okay. I always mm, think that here, here in El Salvador, our cul uh, culture is very different the the american culture because they finish at night at 17 18 years old and they started to study a college like a, the teacher said and then going to the university and they finish and you can find a person with 30 years old without kids without wife and with a lot of uh, titles so here is very different you finish i well, i finished at when i was 18 17 and i started my career so i married when i have 20 when i 21 i have two kids and so with and i don't have any more time to can continue study something can specialize side by myself <clears throat> so I okay. guess the yeah. culture is very different in the, the states in that point yes and we can do that another <laughs> question okay. did you live in a dormitory while you went to college <laughs> no I'm not <laughs> What about you? Um, no, I I didn't. But you studied in Guatemala, right? No. no, no, I study in Santa Ana, Santa Ana, but I I was living in Aguachapán. Oh. And then when I started that first year, I I began to live here in Santa Ana, but in a friend's house. Mm, friend. No, a dormitory. <laughs> uh -huh. and you, yeah. you shared the expenses with your friends? Yes. The yeah, expense house. Yes, oh. uh, she, uh, she lives right now in this time too with her mother. 
Okay. And her grandmother. But you are single. Yes, I was single in this mm. time. <laughs> okay. And how old are you? Right now? <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> I'm 38. 38. Mm, yes. Okay. Uh, and the next question. Continue. Yeah, yeah. Continue. Um, does your country provide provide a good public school system? Mm. Uh, I don't think all the school publics have a good system, but I guess some we we have some schools are very very good public schools okay what do you think yes i think the same and uh, there are some very good school but there are a lot of that are bad and, <coughs> and maybe 50 and 50 percent i think mm. so does your country have a Good public universities? Well, I studied in the National University mm -hmm. and it's a good. Are you like doctor, uh, doctor or, or medicine? Medicine is a, a good major. The best is the in a public, best. In a public education. Uh -huh. It's the best uh, uh, uni national university. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, the next question. Does your country have good public universities? Okay. Yes. If not, why do you think there is a lack of education in your country? Just national university, but... Um, we the system of education need to to improve. Presupuesto, teacher, I don't remember. Budget. 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 Uh huh. Budget. budget. Uh huh. They need a good budget. For the National University, but I think National University is very hard when we, when they, when when some of the teenagers want wants to want to to entrance there. The exam, the exam is very difficult. My 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 daughter uh, did the exam; and it was very difficult, and I think my my daughter uh, studied in a very good high school, high school, uh -huh, very good high school in, in middle or oh, elementary. Well, uh -huh. the, uh -huh, uh -huh. the Colegio Español Padre Arupe is very good. So my, my daughter said, Mommy, it was very difficult. Uh -huh. but, uh, but she was studying there. <laughs> really? She is, she is. She is studying there. I'm sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The next question. You ask is, me. What really changes will you make to your country attitude toward education? What realistic changes? ¿Cuáles son las realistas harías en tu país? What realistic changes will you make to the so, to your country's attitude towards Roberto, education? Yeah. Roberto, answer the question. Well, in this case, there are realistic changes that we can go ahead and do it to first of all improve the uh, the national university budget with uh -huh. that improvement. It's not only the improvement it, uh, of, of the budget that they do have to 
in order to in order to spend every single year. As well, they need to improve all the equipment that they do have because I know for, uh, from first hand that they do have a lot of old equipment. But uh -huh. it's not only that; they have a lot of administrative issues since sometimes they 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 lost your scores your scorecards since i have met to someone else to another oh, to another student from that university from the national university that had studied electrical engineer engineering over there and they have lost three years of the of, of his scorecards it's so bad that yeah, that's really bad. Even over there, in order to become an electrical engineer, you will have to study at least eight to nine years in order to to get that degree. Why? Wow. Since, well, in that, it's also involved the lack of teachers that they do have because when you are just like getting approximately between the fourth or the fifth year of the career, there's a lot of just like specialized subjects that you will have to yeah. take. But sometimes they don't they don't have the teacher that can teach that subjects. So oh. they make you wait until they do have that teacher available in order to teach that subjects. Okay, so did you study there at the university? No, 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 no. I, I have studied at UCA. Uh -huh. But since there's an institution, an association, which is called IEEE, with that, uh, uh, inside of that aso association, you are able to meet people from Sonsonate that, uh, that have went to the, to the USO, which is the university that they do have over there and as well to the National University. You get in touch with, with all of them. Okay. Okay. More about it, I guess the, the government needs to build another university around the, 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 the country. For example, in Metapan, in La Union, in yeah. But they do have as well, uh, there's a national university over San Miguel. They do have one section in San Miguel as well. Yes. Yes, but yes. I mean, it's a little B section, that <laughs> university. Well, the only thing about that university is that they don't have the technical careers over there since they don't have enough equipment in order to provide those specialized careers over there, but they do provide accounting, uh, business administration, and I don't know if they provide as well nursery over there. I'm not 100% sure of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. The, next, the next question, what role do you think human capital plays in the development of country? What role do you think human capital? What is human human capital plays? That is referred to uh, uh, to the people to to improve the the development of or the development of economy, the development of, of. Well, I have verified, and it's human capital is the skill, knowledge, and experience possessed by an individual or population. Do within terms of their value or cost to an organization or country. Uh -huh. okay. That means that human capital is how much do you work for the society itself? For all, all the people in the society, how much do, do, does it worth 
for the same society. <laughs> Where? For the um, last hours. And maybe uh, we wish to the teacher give um, more day to the to send the hunger, for example. And maybe um, for that situation, the students, they aren't more serious with your, with your work. And when you, um, <clears throat> when you grow up and you have the same attitude, bad attitude, when you have to go in your work. Okay. Maybe could be. <laughs> okay. I I think um, the government doesn't doesn't plan plan it the dedication. For example, it I was said that in Canada, some careers are closed because there are too much professionals in that career. For example, medicine, law or something like that. And they, they close the career because you cannot have too much uh, doctors in um, well, districts that don't, doesn't need too much doctors. So they open the career only in the regions that need that career. It's like a planification of the careers in the country. It's an excellent point. I never think about it. <laughs> yes, it, it's Canada. It's so different to us. And yeah. we are with the, with the traditional careers, I think. And for example, uh, we are talking about the, the textile industry in El Salvador is very important. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, for the exportation. But you always send um, cotton t-shirts, cotton um, socks, something like that. But if you have investigated internet, you know that you can make clothes uh, from plastic, mm -hmm. plastic, or even from the, the waste of coffee. For example, um, this coffee that I hate, the Colombian one, Juan Valdez. Ah. <laughs> yes. Juan Valdez make uh, t-shirts or, or shirts for sports or shoes or bags uh, from the, the waste of the, the, when they process the coffee. They made that waste uh, how the fiber, they convert it in textile fiber and they make the products. And we, we cannot think more than a toast or roast coffee and do things of cotton. So yeah. we have to get more technology, I think, in the, and open different schools. Yes. We always have the same career and yes. we never get out of there and we, think we need different that maybe could be more important. Yes. I, my son is studying in Mexico. I remember when we were, we, he was in seventh grade, he told me, I want to study cinema, cinematography. Oh my God, I think, I am gonna do. <laughs> and we began to save money to see what we can send him. And we choose uh, three universities in different countries. And he chose uh, this one in Mexico, thank God, because the other ones were very expensive and in Mexico is very cheap. Oh, okay. And he's studying there, uh, not, Cinematography, but um, multimedia. 
multimedia is a career that make them make him work in all the possible media of communication, audio, video, writing, uh, uh, drawing, everything. And uh, it's uh, a career that, uh, at least in my times, it was not invented or not even think that it could exist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I think uh, you are studying law, but when you when you have children, there will be another careers, and when yeah. they, that that not exist right now even. So, the, but we have to to make uh, all this to career in a way. Yes, to find yes. a way. Yeah. Yes. So yes. Okay, next one next is, question. what role do you think human capital plays in the development of countries? <clears throat> it's very important because like the last, well, last question, we are talking about it, that for example, in education, we need uh, more budget. Yes, Human capital is, is, is the, it's a, like a budget, for example. Capital, yes. human capital, el capital humano. Ah, okay. Yes. Yes, I think it's important because uh, you can give ideas, uh, according something to make better the, the education system, okay? And uh, the better you are prepared, the better you can uh, support your society. So you need to be prepared. If you have too many people with, with no school, with no education, or with basic education, you cannot grow. You have to make... Um, a very spe specialist group to grow your country, I think. Oh, I understand. And well, it's like you said, when you study a career in the future, you, you could um, support or help to find uh, any answer or something like that in a problem in different areas in the country. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. How many years did you, oh, you are the first year in college, isn't it? Yeah, in my first. Yes, I went on about... And you finished. I, I went about uh, four and a half years, and then I I have to do my migration work, my thesis, and then I graduate in uh, attending. It was uh, four and a half year. Oh. And I didn't study abroad. I studied here. The next question: Did you study abroad? No, I studied here in El Salvador. I prefer that. Maybe by the moment. <laughs> yes, it's because law and medicine, I think they are very specific because you cannot apply the laws of El Salvador to another oh, country. Yeah, yes, yes. It's true. Yes. I was, before that, that pandemia, I was looking, I was reading about some, um, my goodness. How do you say beca? Mm, I don't remember. Scholarships. Scholarships, thank you. About the scholarship that China was uh, given to El Salvador. But they say, please do not apply if you, are, you want to study laws or medicine. Because of the laws, I, as I told you, you can apply. He is here. <laughs> okay. But I think 
the conversation all right, all right, was very interesting. Welcome back, Thank welcome. <laughs> Sorry about that. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me have two volunteers, please. One volunteer ask the question and the other volunteer respond to the question. All right, Julia, ask the question. Freddie, respond to the question. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, um, what did you mayor in? Well, um, I just start law in this year, teacher. So, well, it's my first first year. And how do you feel? Mm, well, <laughs> in this moment with this pandemia, <laughs> I'm not filled with the same energy, with the with the same um, feeling. Yeah, because I don't like uh, in in this career. I don't like. Uh, Classes in linea, uh, online class. Online class. Sorry. Online okay. classes. Yeah. In this career, I don't. I don't prefer online okay. class. All right, makes sense. Okay, guys, we're gonna stop right here. It's already eight fifty-six, and we will continue on Monday. Work on the okay. writing section, and you can move forward with the next section. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Enjoy, enjoy, your enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Study English. Practice.